Hello guys, I'm Ronald and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss ship's lightweight, deadweight and displacement. The objectives of this video is to differentiate lightweight, deadweight and displacement and to determine displacement value and corrections using hydrostatic table. This is a series of video for ship stability, so I put the link of other videos in the description below, including the reference textbook that I've used. So lightweight is the weight of the ship when she is completely empty. It is a mass of a ship with all of its structure including all steels, decks, cargo gears and machineries with boiler or with boilers top up to working level. So from the definition weight of a ship when she is completely empty, it means it does not include other items. So what are those other items? So it does not include fuel, lubricating oil, fresh water, water ballast, cargo or cargoes, stores, crew, passengers and other effects. So again, this is the weight of the ship when she is completely empty. So dead weight is a measure of how much mass or weight a ship is carrying or can safely carry. So this is the sum of all the weights of cargo, fuel, lubricating oil, fresh water, water ballast, stores, crew, passengers, and other effects. So from the term how much weight a ship can carry or can safely carry, it means dead weight, dead weight does not include the weight of a ship when she is empty. So dead weight will be the sum of all the weights that we put on board including the cargos. So displacement is the weight of the volume of water that a ship displaces or the weight of the water that a ship pushes aside when she is floating. In our science subject before, we have an experiment that when we put an object to a glass which is full of water, then water will displace. So the weight of the volume of that water that displaces will be equivalent to the weight of the object that we put in the glass which is full of water. So the same idea when we put a ship in the water, so water will displace. So the weight of the volume of that water will be equivalent to the displacement of the ship. But mathematically, we can calculate displacement equals lightweight plus deadweight. So we know that lightweight is the weight of the ship when she is empty and deadweight is the sum of all the weight that we put on board the ship. On board, we can extract the value of displacement using our hydrostatic table which can be found in the stability booklet. So I have here a sample of the hydrostatic table but I will make a separate video regarding how to use hydrostatic table also how to read draft marks. So but first we will proceed to our problem. Determine the displacement value using the hydrostatic particulars when the ship is floating at a draft of 8.90 meters in the following waters. So for A when the ship is floating in salt water, for B when the ship is floating in fresh water and for C when the ship is floating in dark water with a relative density 1.012. When are we going to consider that the ship is floating in dark water? If the relative density of the water will be between the extremes of salt water and fresh water. So the range of the relative density between 1.024 to 1.001. So that will be considered dark water. In the problem, you have now 8.90 meters. Okay, here go back to the hydrostatic table. The first column will be the ship's drop. We know that the ship's drop will be the vertical distance from the water line to the keel. The second column will be the ship's displacement in salt water and in the third column the ship's displacement in fresh water. So we'll focus on the first column, second and third. Ship's draft is 8.90 meters so here will be 8.90 meters. The first required will be we are going to determine the ship's displacement in salt water. You will go to the second column. At a draft of 8.90 meters, you have there the ship's displacement is 19,086 tons. So that is why our answer will be 19,086 tons. For letter B, we need to determine the ship's displacement in fresh water. So at a draft of 8.90 meters, the ship's displacement will be 18,620 tons. So everything will be given in hydrostatic table. For for dark water with the relative density 1.012, you cannot find in the column because the second and third column will be for salt water and for fresh water. So we will make some corrections. Finding the ship's displacement when floating in dark water. So here, to find the displacement in dark water, you have now displacement in salt water times relative density in dark water divided by relative density in salt water. Remember that 
if you are going to use the value of displacement in salt water, now use also the relative density in salt water. But if you are going to use the value of displacement in fresh water, then your divisor here will be the relative density in fresh water. Displacement in dark water equals to 19,086 tons. This is now the displacement value in salt water. Multiply by 1.012 which is the given relative density divided by the relative density of salt water which is 1.025. Now again, you use the value of displacement in salt water. So you are going to use relative density in salt water. If you are going to use the value of displacement in fresh water, use the relative density of the fresh water as your divisor. So the answer here will be 18,843.93 tons. This is now the displacement of the ship when she is floating in dark water at a draft of 8 point 90 meters so i hope you learned something guys thank you for watching